demo with Miss Wanda Connick. We're going to actually illustrate the uh, basic fundamentals for hand dance. So for those of you that are ready, I'm going to talk a little bit. I'm going to take this off and get us through the working process. For the gentlemen, you're considered as a leader. It's a partner dance, lead and follow dance. So in this particular case, we're going to walk you through the process. Okay? Uh, Gloria, if you can not tilt that. That'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Give me one second. Probably need to be a little higher. Not sure if you can see our footwork. Okay, on the basic, gentlemen, you're going to tap, step, step. Tap, step, step. Triple step. Left foot. Tap, step, step. Then triple step. Ladies, with your right foot, you're going to do a tap, step, step. Meaning looking like this. It's going to be a tap, step, step. Then triple step. Guys, with your left foot, tap, step, step, then triple step. Together, it looks like this. Tap, step, step, and triple step. Okay? Count would be as such. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. There's a six count measurable in this particular piece, which is our basic kick step. Tap, step, step, triple step. And then we're going to do a five and six with the alternate foot, which will be a triple step as well. So, tap, step, step, triple step, and triple step. Usually we don't connect in the beginning, but I just wanted to show the essence that it is a partner dance. 
What's going to happen, we're going to do it one more time. Wanda, as I introduced earlier, my assistant instructor, she's going to turn this way with my left foot and her right foot. Tap, step, step. Tap, step, step. Triple, triple, step, and triple, step. That's a basic six count measurable for your basic footwork. Again, tap, step, step, then triple, step, and triple, step. I'm going to turn around. Any questions at all regarding your basic footwork? That's a yeah, standard. I have a question, Sandra. That's, um, what do you call that? A basic that's, step or eight count? What you that's a it? basic kick step, kick ball and chain. You want to say chain? Kick ball and chain. Now, we need to see your full image. So now I'm just seeing your feet. I don't see your, the upper, your head or anything. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Um, bear with me. Were you able to see it initially? I really like that ball and chain. That's like the basis of the It is. Actually, it's your basic fundamental foundational uh, yes. and essence of the dance itself. Uh, don't change that. No. Okay, so what we're going to do, are, are you able to see our footwork pattern oh, at all? No, you're not able to see your feet at all. Mm. Oh, on this one, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, let's try this again. I think the further we're back, the better off we are. Go back a little bit more. No, you can't see your feet, but go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. They need to see that kickball and chain, uh, weight chain. Okay, let's see. Hold on one more time. Let me try one more thing. Step, ball, chain. I know that's the basis. Yeah. I don't know how to do this step, ladies and gentlemen, in order to master the dance. She's adjusting her camera. This is uh, the Silky School hand dancer. Oh, okay. Here you go. See, here you go. Are you able to see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She says upside oh, down. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So what I do with my uh, left foot, uh, the females or the followers do with their right foot. Questions at all? I'm going to go through another variation, which would be a tap step to the side on three and five. And a one and a two side tap, three and four and five and six. The variations could be a multiple of patterns as soon as they stay in a unified pattern of a six count measurable and you stay in sync with your partner, okay? So we're doing a tap side on three and five, tapping on one and a one and a two side tap, three and a four and a five and a six. How does it look to the side? Again, and a one and a two side tap, three and four side tap, five and a six. Notice that weight change again, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six. So that's a tap to the side on three and five. Questions so far? Good, I hope I'm not taking you too fast. We're gonna add one more piece to this. Again, cross kick on three and five, tapping on one, and a one, and a two, cross kick, three and four, and a five, and a six. Again, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six. How does it look with a partner? And a one, and a two, cross kick, three, and four, and five, and six. Question so far? I know we're moving kind of fast. We don't have that much time. We're going to do another thing, which is a, uh, a right side pass. It looks like this in, the, in uh, terms of the pass itself. Guys, with your left, and a one, and a two, and three, and four, and five, and six. If you notice one thing, we work off of a track, either going north and south or east and west, depending on what we're doing at this particular point. So ladies, uh, you'll come down the track. You will simply do a walk, walk, turning to your left, triple step, and triple step. Again, you do a walk. Walk, triple step, and triple step. Watch how I lead Wanda down the track. And a one, and a two, and triple step, and tri again, she does a one, and a two. She's coming down your right side, gentlemen, at this particular point, okay? Guys, your footwork pattern for this particular piece and leading a right side pass, you're on the track, notice I'm facing Wanda, she has to be able to travel down the track with not having to run around me. So my left foot's going to be on a slighted angle, coming off the track. Cross over with that right foot, which clears the track. Again, let me let you see it from this point of view. Left foot goes out on a slight angle. Cross over with your right foot. That opens the track for one to come through. So it looks like this in this sense. And a one and a two. Notice, gentlemen, by two, she's almost in front of you. Some ladies take larger steps, some take small depending, but she knows she has to get on the track by the end of six. Going back one more time, guys, your left foot slide out, and a one, and a two. Question so far? Now we want her to go all the way down the track. So that means in this particular case, once we slide out with our left crossover on two, three, and four, we are now facing our partner on four. That means that slight turn going towards your right, you'll be facing your partner. She's coming down your right side. So it'll be one and a two and three and four. That left foot's forward. We know in that sense that that's where your four is. By that time, Wanda, your partner, will be on the opposite side. Ladies, I showed you what you should be doing on three and four. It looks like this. And a one and a two, triple and four. That's your four. Close off your five and six and five and six. Right side pass as it should be, and a one, and a two, triple, triple. That's a right side pass. Question so far? We're going to take that same right side pass and give her a traveling left turn. It is a pass because it comes, your particular hand, gentlemen, goes waist level, not high. She knows all day long because she's learning to read the indications that she has to do a pass. Why? Because they're actually down low. Questions at all? If it's a turn, the hand's going to be up or the indication's going to be put in place by two. And one and two. Indication in place by two. Same look, footwork pattern, gentlemen. And a one crossover two. By two ladies, you're walking. One, two. And one and two. That's your two. We're going to do it from this side. 
So you see it? One to thank you. And one and two. We're there by two. Question so far? Indication in place by two. She proceeds and three and four. Close it off. Five and six. All right. Are you able to see that footwork? Just tilt it a tad bit. Mm -hmm. I know we're having technical yeah. difficulty. We got the <laughs> okay, so the measurables for right side pass will be as such and one and two, triple, three and four, triple, traveling left and one. This is your traveling left turn. Notice that she's going down from one side of the slot to the other slide. Some people call it track, some people call it the slot. Whichever works for you works for me. Questions so far? Guys, remember one thing, that you're the leader of this particular dance. Ladies, you don't do anything unless he asks you to do politely, meaning put the indications in place. Yeah? All right, so we've got a, right, a basic kick step. Basic, one, and a two, triple, triple, again. Basic, one. Side tap on three and five, tapping on one. And one, and two, side tap, and four, again. Side tap, tap, one, and two, side tap. Temptations cross kick, tapping on one, cross kick, again, and a one, and a two, cross three, and four, and six. Questions so far? Traveling left turn, and one, two, triple, four, triple, right side pass, and one. You're leading her down that track, down your right side, five, and six. We come right back and join where we initially started. Questions so far? How are we looking, CC? Okay. I'm going to give you another, like another uh, five minutes because we will have our capital capoeira that should be coming on at 2.15. I'm going to give you like a couple more minutes. Okay, okay. sounds good. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So then we're going to actually do a stationary left turn, which is a one and a two. She starts her turn, three and four and five and six. Again, stationary left. Jim will take it back and one, two, triple and four, triple. Great. Now, guys, your footwork for that uh, stationary left turn with your left foot, you're going to step back. One and two. Almost like a rock step. Put in place by two. Ladies, you're just going to do a one and two. You know it's stationary because you do not leave, guys, that slot. And she knows to stay because you have not moved off the slot. Indication put in place by two and one and two. She starts to turn. Triple step and triple step. That's a stationary left turn. And one, two, triple, four, triple. Okay, so we're gonna put those three pieces together. I know it's not a, a whole lot of time, but it's enough to get you at least started, and hopefully it has appeased your taste, at least not give you an excitement in terms of wanting to learn how to hand dance. And if you have any further questions, we'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you, and then we'll go from there. Give me one quick second. We're gonna do a basic kick step. Five, six, basic kick step. And one and two, triple. Again, feel the music as you dance. Last time. Tap to the side on three and five, tapping on one. Three and four, no weight change, and one. If you wanna do that weight change and uh, simply do a check on the side, we're gonna throw that in, looks like this. Again. Travel. Traveling left turn. Traveling left turn. Indication in place by two. She knows what to do by two. Working ladies. Basic. Stationary left. Just one, two. Indication in place again, gentlemen, by two. One more time. Stationary left. Right side pass. What you do with your right, you can do with your left. The lovely Wanda sashays down that court. Basic, same lead. Just the opposite hand. There's so much more you can do because we don't have the time. 
to thank CC so much for allowing us to do what? To at least be able to dance with you. There's many dances, uh, classes around the D.C. area, Maryland and Virginia. To teach somewhat the same thing, you have a contemporary hand dance piece, and you've got old school hand dance. They all work off that six count measure. Once again, this is Wanda. Take your mask off, Wanda, so you see. <laughs> Wanda Tonic. We have our technician, Gloria, in the back. We wish we could get back to you, but CC said five minutes. I think I might be on point. Is that correct? Uh, we've been dancing. Oh, goodness. I started 2002 with Michael Ashton over in Maryland. Yeah, but we've been in business for 13 years. We hit our 13 year, actually April the 7th will be our 14th year of business, and we have not given up yet. So whether it be in season or out of season, I uh, have a great studio fashion, so we've now moved into the VFW. We're no longer on Route 1, but you can still come to us once we start opening to some of the classes. I do do privates now, and I do do Zoom sessions. So look for that great information. We'd love to have you, and uh, thank you so much for your time and effort. Continue to support Adams Morgan, a great venue because they do the necessities of various dances from around the world, whether it be urban, international, what have you, a great piece that CC's put together. We are very, uh, very fortunate to be with her. I think this is our third year, second year, third year, yes, and we're, yes, yes. we're more than grateful. So thank you so much. I apologize to the family for the technical difficulty. I do apologize for that, but we'll make it better the next time. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Uh, before we get to our next act, we're looking for Capital Capoeira. You guys are there. Before we get to you, I want to give a shout out to Justice from uh, Bukum Cafe. He allowed me to interview him today, and they are running a special at Bukum. Bukum has the Caribbean and African cuisine. They have a goat steak with goat meat, salmon, spinach, peanut butter stew. So, Gloria, come inside and get your picture. Because since it's video, I want to make sure Gloria gets in there. The lovely Wanda Tonic and the lovely Gloria, our technician. She is in training. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for hanging in there with us. This will be on YouTube. And uh, we love you so much. All right.